We're checking the KH level of the tank behind me and um, the reason why you check your KH is because the uh, KH controls what your pH level is in your aquarium. So uh, if you've ever had the problem where you've gone away on holidays and you come back and all your fish are, are dead, it normally means your pH level has dropped away. And the reason for that is because the lack of carbon or carbon hardness in the water. So I've got a water sample here from the tank behind me. If you put one drop into the liquid and shake it up, uh, if you can see there, the, um, the liquid is yellow or a clear, clear type colour. Ideally what we want to happen is we want that to go blue and stay blue for at least three or four drops. So when the water is like that, it means the carbon hardness is on zero, which means your pH is very unstable. We've waited about five minutes now for the KH test, the amount of carbon in the water, the carbon hardness, and I've put the carbon hardness powder in there and let's check whether the solution now goes blue instead of staying at yellow. Five mil of water. One drop, before we put that drop in, it was yellow. Now if you can see, I'll put that onto, the white, onto a white background. You can see it's blue, which means the carbon hardness is a lot better than what it was before, meaning your pH is more stable. Another drop. Shake it up, still blue. Third drop. Four and five drops. Still blue. Six, seven drops. And you can see at the top there where I put the water in, starting to change yellow. We're changing yellow now. So if there's seven drops that turns the liquid from blue to yellow, it means it's seven German degrees, which means your pH is very, very stable. Absolutely nearly impossible for your pH to drop. Around the, uh, for a tropical tank, it's probably better off around four drops turning blue. And how that's turned blue there, that would be perfect for a, a tank with a really high pH, like an African cyclic tank. Mm -hmm.